Hello and welcome into the Game Week 463 preview brought to you by SoRare Data. I am Andrew Laird. You can find me as Lairdinho on SoRare. Joined once again by Harry Trades to talk about this midweek, which um, Mike Baston right here could set a new record for the shortest preview stream. It might. It might. Well, it all depends on how much non-preview stuff we discuss today. Um, as right. we were late because Harry and I were discussing non-preview stuff. And um, yeah, there was that. Anyway, <laughs> Harry, what's up? Yeah, not too much, man. Chilling. Alive. Final game week of the old so rare. Final one, and none of us really have any lineups. <laughs> well, no. Speak for yourself, Led. Oh, oh. For yourself. No. oh here yeah. we go. Uh, well few. season. Yeah, it's well season. Got a couple myself. Um, yeah, no, it's weird, isn't it? It is the lot. Like this, I feel a bit guilty, Led, to be honest. I've got a bit of a confession. In that I'm not playing under 23 Rare Pro in the last ever, or Rare Plus, in the last ever chance for me to ever play it. I, I can't. I, well, I say I can't. I could, but I don't have a, you know an under 23 keeper. Mama Dash really plays this midweek, and um, as do a, a few others, actually. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm in a weird spot where it fe that feels wrong because that's been my, you know, it's my competition, right? I've I've kind of done everything I've done on Sora in that competition. Yeah. I, I got a good finish this weekend in it. So that kind of softens the blow for me. I'm a bit like, if I didn't do anything this weekend, I, you know, win a card or whatever, I really think I would have pushed the boat out and maybe bought more cards for this midweek because there is a few goalies that I just thought thought about then that could be bought for like quite cheap because the Croatian guys are playing. Mm. Um, I say quite cheap. I don't know the prices of, of them. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not playing in it. I feel a bit guilty, basically, is what I'm going to get at. So you have zero players? I have... No, I have like, well, I have like zero that yeah. you could put in a lineup because obviously no, 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 I no, no, you no. have some that you're putting in different lineups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As in, like I've put them in different lineups, so I now have zero. But I could obviously oh. put them in red, red plus if yeah, I yeah, needed yeah. to. I just don't have the goalkeeper, and I, I don't think you need a goalkeeper. But I would feel a lot more comfortable playing a goalkeeper. You know, um, that's I think. Where I'm at. I think for ceremonial purposes, you just put in a five no game lineup just to like make sure that you were there. <laughs> I entered, yeah, yeah the, the, I could say that I was there. I bought a ticket. Um, yeah. 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 That's just crossed my mind. But I am playing under 23 Super Rare. So that, you know, oh. cats out the bag. Yeah. I, I am. I am playing that not with five cards though. Um, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Five cards might be just the key to everything this week. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining. Looks like Grem was first. Toby was second saying this game week sucks and Sean on the podium as well. Get me the medal. So congratulations. Arthur wants the new format. You'll have it tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow. Um, Toby said building lineups for 463 and holy damn, it's way more keeper intensive than I expected. I'm so short on keepers. I've talked to a few people about this where mm. we always knew this was going to be the case. And like uh, Quinny's always called it like the goalkeepers, like your ticket in. And now it's like really really front and center when you're like, oh, I can put in another lineup as opposed to like, oh, I can't. And so you don't even think about it. And now like you're so close. You're like, oh, I just need a goalie. Oh, I just need, oh, oh no, I need another. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. It's Wilson, yeah. Rikomon, Glenn, what's up? Yohanneton, SR Monkey, the week before the week. I like that. Yohanneton's still riding high on the international break. Um Jordan, what's up? Yeah. Oh, Johansson said another full team going into U23 this midweek. Last week got me Boniface, which is a very fun card. It's just like a good looking card, too. Um, right. That particularly the limited. Um, but anyway, David, uh, Maxwell, Sam, what's up, everyone? Alex, Fabian, Fabian. I'm going to say Fabian. Simo, hopefully not driving now. David, <laughs> Red or Dead, Parrot Press, what's up? Stay tuned for a pair of press update today. Mm -hmm. um, Sam D, what's up? Oh, bedtime watch for Maxwell. How about that? I woke up like three hours ago um, in the morning. Not a Cameron. What's up? Um, Mike Baston is asking what your favorite sandwich is. Wrong mm -hmm. show, but we may as well talk about it. I'm not really. A, uh, I don't know. I'm not, not really, really a sandwich, sandwich guy. Sandwich guy. No. What you were gonna say? I'm more, oh. I'm more of a like a toasty type of guy grilled cheese type of you. situation yeah that. nothing wrong with that no no, no i prefer my, my food hot i'm not really a like i eat cold food but like i prefer things hot if possible you know all right all right up the welsh stacks since <laughs> david richards when, yeah. when do they play wednesday 
Tuesday, tomorrow. Tuesday. Yeah, all most of those. Uh, oh, yeah, all of the international ones are tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Bullstar, what's up, Charlie? It's all about getting that Euros utility locked in this midweek. Mm -hmm. International break before the new so rare contest is lasting forever. It's a long way. We're not even there yet. Um, Cameron, I've been making moves. Can't wait for 463, but how do the divisions work? Do we all start in Division 5? No. I can answer that quickly, actually. So rare will tell you what your top lineup will be in based off of the, your gallery value. We have no idea if it's the gallery value of the cards you have in that division or just overall or what, but they're going to tell us. Then your second lineup will be one division behind that, and your third lineup will be in Division 5. Jordan's a ham and cheese guy. Let's see, Sam D, too many places to enter. That's exactly what is happening. Uh, that's that's how I felt all over. Um, Pico Player says having four Kavlinas helps Ooh. this midweek. I, I bet. <laughs> uh, at least David Lee's keepers are cheap now. Good point. Liam, what's up? Millwall stack season. I, you did remind me that there was championship. Um, let's see. How much yeah. academy lineups give each player? Twice the uh, 150 XP. If they do not have a game, if all of them don't have a game, but it's double whatever they would normally get. Uh, Harry, how do you feel about falafel? It's fine. I wouldn't choose to eat it, but I've, you know, if it was in front of me and I had to eat it, I'd eat it. It's one of them ones. Yeah. I'm a very fun. fussy eater, just to oh. put that out there. Okay. Very okay. fussy. But I would eat falafel, yeah. Uh, Dan is asking about multi, uh, uh, building multiple lineups for the iPhone. I don't have an iPhone, but I, and I don't actually have the production version of the app, but can you do it, Harry? Good point. I've never really, I can try a few right now though. What is it? Multiple of the same? Like, yeah. So can you do like multiple? I thought you could. Um, um, SR I'll monkey look. said he's already seen some of the UI for tomorrow and it looks pretty slick. Nice. Uh, what happens if your best lineup is put in division five? Um, well, then you, just you know, you're in five. division five before you make your lineup. So you determine right. what what goes into that. Uh, Parapress, I can't do multiple on iPhone either. All right. So then it's coming very soon. Very soon. Okay. I'm going to show you guys quickly. Yeah, you can't. It disappears. It disappears. Wow. Team two, team one. Jesus Christ. It's almost as if he works there. All right, what the hell's going on this week? Oh, I don't know. It's a complete. Yeah, we are all random... Alianza Lima today. <laughs> is that Peru? Is it? Yeah, Peru. We got one card. Okay. Catrio Ceballos. Who doesn't play? No. Oh, well, eh, no. Kind of. No. No. And that is the best. Brad, Brad I'm guessing we find out about our divisions when they open the game week tomorrow. Right. Okay, let's see. Ukraine. Wow, Ukraine stacks. Yeah. Huh? I didn't realize they were that odds on to win. Jesus. Hmm. Did we figure out the uh, goalie situation here? Lunin got the last one. I think it's Lunin. It's just Genuinely, Lunin, huh? It, it wow. feels like yeah. I, I'd be very shocked if they changed that um, in the you know the most important game, but they just scraped through in there. I think they scored two very late on. Um, versus Bosnia. So, yeah, I think people are quite shocked to see them actually go through. I thought it was like, like a double late. Yeah, look at that. 85 <laughs> and 88. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's In fairness, insane. they scored all three goals. <laughs> yeah. Matavienko, what what card he was. Um, Shakhtar. Um, Cameron, does a division I'm in massively impact what I can potentially win? Yes. Yes, yeah. it does. It does. It does. Um, so, yeah. yeah, Ukraine and stacks could be, well, are they that good? I mean, Dov by, I'm trying to think of like a whole stack. I'm sure there is one. Well, there obviously is one. I just mean like, is it, I don't know. Yeah, Lunin, Matavienko, or Zabanie, or, or Mikolenko. So you've got three defenders, four including the guy at the right back. And then, yeah, Mudrik, Sudikov, Dov. I mean, it's fine. It's like, fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Yamachuk off the bench. Malinovsky. They've got some really good players, but Zinchenko. Hmm, okay. Yeah. 
Um, Alex said, anyone with championship lineups, they'll have, or yeah, championship players, Ooh. the lineups should be out before. The, Sulemana before season, baby. <laughs> we, you needed that. <laughs> I mean, you did. Come on. Wait, what did I need? Like knowing if Suleiman is going to play. Oh, yeah. I did. I mean, <laughs> yes, but I also know he's probably not. Um, anyway. The Iceland disrespect. Yeah, I feel oh, that. Yeah, I feel that. I don't know. I who did they just? Oh, they just beat Israel, didn't they? Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. They. You know what? They actually do have a. I mean, Goodmanson's like their star boy right now. Haraldson's really good from Lille. That one was sixty-four midfielder, and then Sigerson. Who pl- it looks like he got injured, but he plays for Blackburn. He's pretty good. I don't know who that Trounerson is, set of mid, but he looks fine if he's scoring eighty. Um. Just no Runnison, which is obviously a, a disrespect to your gallery. Oh, he plays for the, Oh, he did play for the Rose. Um, <laughs> He's not playing for anyone now. Yeah. We also do have led Lithuania Gibraltar, which doesn't come up on Sora data. That didn't come up last midweek, but they play the reverse fixture this uh, midweek in that a Nations, Le- yeah, Nations League relegation qualifier or something. <laughs> Yeah, so Lithuania stacks to the moon. They only won one nil actually last game, but um, there was like a couple of red cards and stuff. Yeah. Sometimes there's just too much utility. How about that? <laughs> know, How about that, guys? Anyway. Yeah. Second division. Um, SR Monkey saying it's a double game week for loads of championship teams. Is that for the weekend? Oh, it must be. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't see them here. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. I, let me rephrase. Sorry, I did. It's championship liners for the for the weekend, so they must play Friday, right? Early, ish, like around the deadline. Yeah, I think so. I was going to click to 463, but I'm not going to do it. You guys are not going to trick me into looking too far ahead. <laughs> um, anyway, so we have what is this? Leicester away to Bristol City, and West Brom aw- favored away to Millwall. Has it really gotten that bad for Millwall? Yeah, I think they've got a little bit better. But yeah, those fixtures aren't good for anyone, I don't think, really. Bristol, a bit of a weird team to go and play against, even for Leicester. And yeah, obviously, a few of their players will be sort of missing or, you know, maybe rusty after the international break. I don't know. But they're all weird fixtures. There's nothing crazy there. Yeah, what's kind of interesting is that they have 10 cards available in second division Europe rare. Mm -hmm. But oh, is Millwall? Um, licensed. Now that I was saying, none of them are licensed. I guess Millwall. Yeah, yeah. I guess Millwall. Are. My bad. My bad. Like we knew Leicester used to be, right? Yeah. But only, only that. Yeah. All right. Um, Mike Bass was saying, yeah, for the championship games Friday and Monday, thanks to the Easter weekend. Um, so yeah, do you have second division? Go, go get them. I guess. Asia, we've got two games. One uh, J League game. Kyoto Sanga at home against, I'm sorry, away to Tokyo Verde, who I believe is one of the promoted teams. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. And then we have uh, Sichuan in the Chinese Super League home against, oof, uh, do I just go with Everbright and pretend I'd they... Go, uh, Shin, Shanzun, Shanzun. No, you're putting an know. N in there. There's no... Shijazwan. Oh, sh- sh- shizaz, oh my God. Shijazwan. Yeah. Everbright. Shijazwan, okay. Um... We should have Asia. Yep, eight cards available in Asia Rare, two in Rare Plus. 60 bucks for third place for the podium. That feels fun. <laughs> <laughs> for all those uh, Kyoto Sanga stackers, maybe? Because wasn't Tyoko, t- uh, t- Tokyo Verde, 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 one of the later licensed, like later launch teams? Oh, they didn't come, did they, in the full set? I, um, I'm i not sure, honestly. I didn't really look too hard into it. I thought they were one of the ones they were like, they're coming later, and then they did come. But Glenn said, I watched Tokyo Verde opening game against Marinos, and they played them off the park for 60 minutes, looked half decent. Hmm. How about that? All okay. right. Way to be, Glenn, doing the work for us. <laughs> in the um, trenches. Russ said, uh, is Zika going to show up on his Chinese league team and start playing? I don't even know who that is. Oh, he's that striker, isn't he? Zeka, is it? Is it Zeka? Z E C A, maybe? Oh, no, it could be. 
No, that's no. Yeah, Z. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's that's guy. Here we go. Formerly of Pohang. Yep. I don't know. Is he? Uh, hmm. Does he show on so rare? Oh, he does. Season-ending injury, apparently. Tommaso says. Hmm. I'm going to try a trick. Do it, do it. Let's see if this works right on stream. <laughs> People think I do more than I know how to do. Let's, let's a full-time code and out. Oh, my God. Hold on. Oh, where's my hard hat? <laughs> hard hat. Yeah, this is what happens awesome. when we don't have any, uh, any matches to talk about. <laughs> Where am I going? This is going to be so great if this works. <laughs> ah, well. I don't know why he's not showing up. Hmm, strange. Hold on. Anyway. While we uh, continue here. Where were we? Second division? No, Asia? Yeah, Asia. So yeah, I have nothing to say to Asia. No, nope. America's pretty full. Yeah, I mean, how many licenses? I think it's like juniors and um, uh, Rosario just launched. Rosario, yeah. And I don't think it's any of these Peruvian teams, which is kind of funny. No, I don't think so. so let's see, Champion America Rare, thirty-five cards. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Bad. Yeah. Huh. So if you have a full, sorry, if you have a full, uh, full America stack, is it is it going in America for you, Led, or is it going into All Star against all the other thousands of fixtures that we yeah, have this weekend? Mm. I got nothing for for America. I'm pretty sure I have nothing. I think it's literally zero. Well, okay. Nothing. Um, but good luck to those of you with O'Higgins stacks <laughs> down in Chile. Look at that. I, per, camera pulled it, called it out. Peranic has a game. Wow. Is he a goalie? Peranic, maybe. Peranic. Okay. Alrighty. It's under twenty three city here in goal. Ooh. Bet between both of them teams. How many we got here? Twelve cards in rare plus and fifty six in rare. That seems pretty good for two teams. I mean, I know they're fully licensed, but man. Yeah, that does feel good. That does feel really good, actually. Um I mean, Istra at home, but they're the weaker side. So it's one of them mm -hmm. weird ones where, like, I don't know. I, yeah. I'd obviously prefer to have Lokomotiva Zagreb cars, I think, but. Yeah. yeah fourth, they, way to ninth. Will they get relegated then? Well, I say will they. I know they're still in, like, the shout of not being relegated, but are we saying the two get relegated there? Or am I just seeing lines in the wrong places? I would assume two. Yeah. Do they do a playoff or a league split? Mm, I'm not sure. There is some lines there. So, yeah, I'm going to say something happens. Oh, Charlie says things one That's goes cool. down. How is there a professional league that has 10 teams? I know. What are we doing? Croatia here? can't be. A, well, it's not the biggest of countries, I don't think, is it? 10th only relegated. In interesting. That's mad. Okay. Whoops. All right. Hmm. Okay. So it seems like everyone's safe. Really? Yeah. Literally. Just playing for nothing down yeah. there. Yeah. Hmm. That Zagreb, Dynamo Zagreb dropping down to full third. Yeah. Game in hand, but yeah. Oh, that's true. But yeah, they've not had the best of yours at all. Riker for the win. Against the mighty Igors. Yeah, good old eagle. 
Look at this. People making deals in the chat. 10% off if you like the stream. Hell yeah, well, Mark. Do, thank you. Do, do we get the temp? Oh, no, it wouldn't be off with it. I'm saying like use code. Sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> use code live chat for the uh, the 10% off. Oh, okay. Pico said fourth goes to Europe. So there you go. All right. Okay. Hmm. Glenn, 12 is bigger than 10. Right. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I don't know why I keep coming back to Zeka <laughs> there. Is there uh, so Champ the only one empty? That's kind of funny. I know. No, so Champ's done forever. Well, it was done this weekend, I guess, wasn't it? I mean, except it the exact same competition just runs anyway. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sorry. Yeah. That nothing changes there. Fair. Hmm. There you go. Way to be, Glenn. Way to be with the math. All right. Let's see who we got here. What? It's a load of Al Hilal players that don't have cards, I believe. Um, okay. I guess it's Albert Goodmanson season. Way to Ukraine in the hardest fixture on the the matchups tab. I mean, he's good. He is very good. Um, I don't know if he well, if that's a triple A, then you know you you know the game weeks really light in the sense of like he is in the hardest fixture basically of the whole game yeah. and he's he's the best play effectively jorge brown five spots ahead of kieran and dewsbury hall wow how things change mikey johnson for for west brom has been really good recently that's a nice little card to have he has mid and forward cards actually we should add love that, love that. yeah oh yeah he's been really good really really good on loan Okay. Um, Leicester. What a week this is. I know. Not a Welsh. Not a Welsh player. Oh, there we go. Ethan Ampadu, and he's not even covered. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course. Caceres is in there, but I don't think he's going to play personally for Lanus. But I could be wrong. How are you feeling about? Yeah, good point. I'm surprised you haven't. I forgot that we you know, could even cover that. Um, I don't know. It's a tough game, man. Like Poland have some really good players, and I remember watching Poland Wales probably like a year ago. Now it was, it was a friendly game, and they didn't actually look that good. We drew one all and, and whatever. There was nothing on the game, but like there's obviously a lot on tonight's game. They have a lot of you know experienced you know international slash European players, which. You know, we do in some ways as well, but if you really strip our team down, there's like two starters in that team, if we're being completely honest. The start every game, like we're not counting Brennan as a starter for Tottenham. I know he's been starting, but you know, there's like literally two and one's Ampadu and the other one's probably Joe Roden. Um, so it's like, you look at their team and they've got like three, four, five, like, you know, Yelewans, um, Zelinskis, like there's some, you know, I know they have like cooler names than our, us Welsh boys. So like, they feel a lot more superior in some ways. But like, you know, if Lawan wasn't on fire right now, I would be like like a lot less worried. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Puki, you know, Puki's not Lawan and he managed to score against us at home, a little bit of a you know, sloppy defending or whatever. And, you know, I don't know. I didn't expect us to score four against whoever, who do we play? Finland. So it's like, you know, I was shocked in that. So maybe, hopefully, I get shocked again in that, you know, we, we managed to get a result against Poland. I really think it's going to be tight. I thought that in the 4-1 game, so I definitely could be wrong again. But, like, I just don't see there being many goals, honestly. I really, mm -hmm. really don't. Uh, Poland always looks strong in qualifying. Yeah, I, I just think they've got too much quality. We, we're going to really... I, I think the only way we go through, and this is me being pessimistic, is, like, getting a one all zero zero draw going to pens. I, I really don't think we're good enough to beat them in 90 minutes. Like Finland were like outplaying us for a lot a lot of that game on, on Thursday. Now granted we did score really early and like we didn't need the ball. Wales don't love having the ball anyway, which is a worry, right? But if it's nil nil, I'm putting money on Poland having, you know, the majority of the possession and kind of controlling the game over us, which is not a good place to be at home, is it? So I don't know. I'm I'm always really worried when Wales play half decent teams because we make them look even better than they probably are. So I want to say we go through lead, but I, I really don't know, mate. Honestly, it's so hard to say. Wales go through. I mean, it was pretty easy. Pretty easy yeah, to say, actually. 
just came right probably out. Probably go through. I will take a nil nil and go and just win on pens. Because I think it goes straight to pens. I don't think it goes to extra time. I'm sure someone might be able to correct me. Um yeah, Zueski versus uh Nico Williams. I, I actually watched them play against each other in that game. Like they, you know, I've seen that happen already. So, you know, it's not gonna be that much of a, sh- a shock, I don't think. How did Charlie Savage? Charlie Savage is like one of the best young Welsh players that like hasn't really broke through yet. I know that's crazy to think when his dad was Robbie Savage, but um, he is actually really like ridiculously good. Um, my li- my little cousin, who was like played for the Wales 19s a few years ago, is in the same age group, and he said like he is like he's at Man United. Or he was at Man United. I think he's on loan at Reading. Like he's like gonna be ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Um, Harry, I want. Yeah, I do want zero zero. Yeah, and I have Connor Roberts, so <laughs> I have the, th- the, th- the three defensive guys. But that would mean Brennan doesn't score, and so you know that's fine. Um, but yeah, I think we go through, but it's going to be really tough. Right. <clears throat> this, this part shouldn't be easy. No, no, it shouldn't. We yeah, we have yeah, we can't just walk through. We we put ourselves in this mess, so we need to right. <laughs> yeah, 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 like we need we really need to you know get ourselves out of it. Um, yep. So am I looking at three starting goalkeepers? For you, 23 this week? Yeah, yeah, you are. It could have been Trubin, obviously, but obviously, you know, we, we kind of assume that he won't. So, yeah, I really think it is, is only the three. With, yeah, Mamadash really playing in like a 50-50 game against yeah. Greece. Or you could probably argue Greece are, you know, slight favourites. And then, yeah, the, the other two are playing against each other. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe breaking up the teams I have already now and doing something else. <laughs> I think there's not the much full... anywhere. I mean, Kavash is back. Or Kravadona, he's back. Yep. Which helps. Um, like, I don't think Caceres is starting for Lanu. So, like, him being a double A, I don't think people are just going that he started the last game. But I, I've seen things that he probably doesn't play this game. So, if you have him. Um, He's not nailed, basically, is probably the best way to describe it. Um, Shaforko saying Kavlina is mm, also not 100%. Yeah, I think it was, well, he's not on sort of data, but I'm pretty sure he's like as good, you know, good to go. He played the last game. It was the game before that maybe he missed or he was a little bit injured or something. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a crazy, you know, it's a really, really um, soft game week, isn't it, really? Especially for under 23. Oh, interesting. But when did they play Shaforical? The uh, Croatia game? Tuesday? Would it be t- Tuesday? I reckon it'd be later than that. Thursday? The game is two days after. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, so that's tomorrow against Portugal, U21s. The thing is, like, there's only two tier ones available in under 23 rare plus. There's a star rare, obviously, for the podium and a couple of tier twos, tier th- one tier three. I don't know. I... I'd have it's to buy cool. a goalkeeper. I'd have to buy, I say have to. I'd have to get an extra. I'd have to buy a goalkeeper and an extra player, basically. I have the two supers. I have a, a rare defender. Hmm. I just don't know if it's Pooch Ball do it. Um, I mean, I've done it in other competitions. So, like, I'm playing under 23 super rare right now with no goalkeeper is the plan. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I've never gone through a week where I just know so few players. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm really struck. Like, I know Hamza Chowdhury on that list. I know Obafemi and Yaremchuk, three players. Mm-hmm. I know that Paulson because he plays for UPenn, and unfortunately, I just know about. <laughs> I know things <laughs> about UPenn I shouldn't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's a that's a weird list. <clears throat> yeah, this is the uh, Cap Two Forty list with a max cost of forty two, um, and it's hmm. Connor Roberts. Okay, there's Connor Roberts. Thing is, my Welsh stack led actually fits into 240 by like eight points because uh, Ward is at a 40 now, let's say. So 
Yeah, all star rare or or um or 240 basically is the contemplation for myself if I was to just continue doing what I'm doing with my rare cards. This this is the last week of cash in all star. Right. Well, podium ca- uh, like below podium cash or are we say all cash. I, we don't know, do we? <laughs> like, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. I would think podium but would stay, but I don't mm-hmm. I don't like, know look- for sure. Look at that there, Led. You'd have to finish third in all-star rare to get the effectively the same amount of ETH in 240 if you hit three for the mid, for right? For the mid threshold, yeah. Of course, you would get you know you get a tier one with that, which is nice. Yeah. But what like what have you got to do to get a third play? I know it's gonna be a soft game week in you know on paper, but somebody's still gonna score pretty well somewhere. And it's like you know, uh, let's argue. If you hit, say you score 340 points, what do you hit there, Led? Tier three, let's say? Maybe. For this game yeah. Week, yeah. So it's like, but you're up against nobody. You're up against yourself, right? For, f- not for the card, of course, but for yep. the cash. That's like, I don't know. That's something I'm really thinking about now. Do I, why am I in All Star if I could just. Now, granted, 340, I've never hit the middle threshold in rare. So I'm, I'm saying that as if like I'm definitely going to hit it because I'm definitely not. Never? <laughs> Really? No, never. I've hit it twice at limited in road at the road to glory, but I've never done either rare or super rare yet. Um, I've hit the bottom one a few times, but no, never hit the middle one. Wow. Uh, yeah. So, what would you do, Led? Would you go two forty, or would you? You would, would you? <gasps> hmm. Interesting. I think if I think if it was clear that Wales would just crush. Then you go to all star, but like you were saying, if it, if it ends up nil nil, mm-hmm. like how many points are you really scoring? Well, I let's say I get seventy from keeper. Let's say I get sixty five from Nico, sixty five from Connor Roberts before bonus. Let's just call them all seventies. What's that? Two ten, and then I need one hundred and thirty between Brennan and Harry Wilson. I still don't even think that happens. Yeah, <laughs> like it's not gonna. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a good tough. point too. It's really tough. Like. I don't know. I really don't. I think it's... Oh, I don't know. But yeah. like Charlie says, I'd go 240 even though you don't hit the thresh. You could win a card, right? But I know that's fine. But what card am I going to win? I was going to say, if you're if you're playing that game, you, you may... might as well do it in All-Star, All-Star. I think. Yeah. Eh, I don't know. Wait, are there button. more? Hold on. Cap 240 had 90... Yeah, I mean, there are more cards in All-Star. Right, and the, the bottom cash pays down lower. Well, I say lower, right. but you know what I mean. Well, thirty-five dollars in a tier three for thirtieth. Hmm. But but you could do that scoring three hundred and twelve points for all we know. Exactly. Yeah. So if you don't, if I don't think the stack scores that well, then in theory that would get rewarded higher in All Star, right. wouldn't it? Right. On paper. Hmm. Or do I scrap it all and just buy a load of under 23s? <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. Now we're talking. Um, I think we've run out of things to say about this game week. I agree. Yeah. Toby said I'd go for all-star with the upside. There you go. Okay. Um, he's back, right? I think so, yeah. He was suspended for one game, I believe, yeah. Sven. Yeah. Uh, Mickey Fu, do the points for hitting cash rewards in MLS comp? Well, sorry, dropped my pen there. Match your guys' expectations. Uh, I didn't play and I had no expectations. Harry? Um, well, after like Gil didn't do much and, you know, there's a few things. Goalies didn't play, did he? Daniel didn't play. So yep. I think it, yeah, I think it was like 330 maybe got a reward roughly. Like top top 150 was 330-ish. Um I also Maybe learned heard that go on. if you didn't have an LAFC stack, you didn't win anything. No cards, Probably. no leaf, nothing. Could not uh, yeah. win without an LAFC stack. It felt that way, to be honest. Um, yeah, I, well, I hit 318 and I was just under six points away. So yeah, 325 got you a reward. Um, but yeah, it was just a pranksy season, wasn't it? A pranksy weekend. <laughs> Spend more money. <laughs> Daniel being benched for Yarbrough long term. No, I think he was hurt. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Poach, yes, there will be a show later. 
with me and Sean. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> but yes, there will be. I have no idea what we're going to talk about, though. So we'll find out. Um, all right. Thank you to everybody for coming. If you could please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Shout out to Quinny. And yeah, I'll be back later with Sean. And then tomorrow, the new so rare, or at least the transition to the new so rare is here. We can all find out our divisions and all that good stuff. So thank you, everybody. And good luck this midweek.